Hello and welcome to another Super Circuit Maker video. This time, I think the most uh, important part is not really the result, but the way to get there and how the how the logic works. So let me explain. This is a binary to seven segment display decoder. So these are binary inputs. This is one and this is the number two, and then we get three and so on. This is seven and well, this is eight and this is nine. So the binary input goes to this decoder, this entire block, where we have um, one chip each will control one segment. Now, I don't know if this is extremely useful, but I will go through because my first design was like this, just to prove that the math was correct. And then by combining all these circuits into logical nets, uh, we can actually make more a more simple and much smaller decoder. So this block here is doing the exact same thing as these eight. And as you can see, the frame rate is dropping. Uh, I have too many circuits in this world, so forgive me for that. So let's start to go into the theory behind it. There are information about this in the video description. There are useful links. There's a Reddit thread that partly inspired me to do this video and um, general information. So check there as well, but let's go into uh, well, the Google version of Excel. All right. All right. Now let's get into theory. Uh, this will contain uh, some uh, digital electronics. Uh, so if you're familiar with that, then this should be easy to follow. If you're not familiar with this, well, then this is a short lesson about it, but I can't really go into details about everything. So that's why you have to check the links if you don't already know it. It will take too long time to explain this fully. So just hear me out, okay? We begin with the truth table. This table will... We have a specific input. So zero input over here. That's the binary for zeros input. The A, B, C and D as you remember. That means that we want A, B, C, D, E and F to be lit and G to be turned off. That's our zero. So G zero and all the rest are ones. For number one, this is zero 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 one. We want only B and C to be turned on and the rest are off. So B is this one and C is this one and the other ones are zero. So you do this for the entire table. Now, this is not only for a seven segment display. I just think it's a very good example where to demonstrate this because it's uh, actually quite it could be useful but this works for other control methods as well and you not, don't need seven columns you perhaps you only have two columns or something anyway so when when you've done all this then we're going into the k maps the or k carnot maps or carnot diagrams there are a few i've heard a few different expressions about this here we're taking one map for every segment, for every column. So this column is transferred into this diagram. And then we have AB and CD as inputs. AB, CD. So 0, 0, 0, 0 for, for A. Then we should have a 1 this one. So that's the same one. Zero, 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 0001, then we want it as a zero. It's this one. And so on. So for one one, um, let's see, one zero, one zero zero, one zero zero zero, then it should be one. And as you can see, there are a few x's here. And that that's because from 10 to 15, um, I'm not using those, so I don't care. So these are don't cares. So then you fill in this diagram with all these numbers. 
And then the fun part begins. It's where we try to use all these um, patterns and we try to fill using our logic sense and to fill this diagram with big large chunks to cover all the ones. Read more about this if you don't already know it, so I'll just go through it quickly. So 1 plus C plus BD plus B complement D complement. That's the expression we get from this diagram. Basically, I'm having one of these, this large one. I have it down here. That's the A because A is one. Then we can cover all these. And I want to cover these two, these four, with a box like this. And that's, uh, let's see, that's B11 and D11. So this is BD, these four. And then the B complement, D complement, the, are these corners. And then finally, to get those two, I'm just doing this entire part, like this shape. And that's the C. So this can take some time, you can get different results. Uh, you can get different expressions, but still do the same thing. That's the fun part with logic. Um, so we'll do this for all seven maps in this specific pattern. They are gray coded, which means that we have a special 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. They are kind of mixed. Uh, don't bother about that. Just read the extra information if you want to know why. But this gives us these exp expressions. They will basically tell us that to make the seven segment display behave as we want, as the truth table, then we just need to collect gates, connect gates in this pattern. Well, that can be tricky, of course. These are just numbers, but actually it does work. So I've summarized this into combinations required. For to cover all these, we need quite a few of them. And here I did some math for how many gates I needed to do it uh, manually. Um, and that was my first. So if we just open this and just take a brief look, then these are all the expressions. So I'm I will try to... Can we fit both on the same screen? So this A plus C. We have A down here. And we have C up here. This is the orange. These are just uh, the inverse. This is not gate, not gate, not gate. So here I'm creating all all the first ones that I needed, all the combinations required in the first step. Here I have all the AND gates to connect everything together according to my, my, my list, this list, where I combine everything. And I make sure that we in this bus, yeah, I call them buses, but the, the bundled wire, we have all the combinations required according to my, to my plan. Here I have only OR gates to connect everything together and basically it just worked directly. So if I turn this on to do a countdown, it works. And now we have the, uh, the five first ones, they are undefined. But when we reach nine here, then we'll get all the numbers that we want. But this is quite large. So we needed to make it smaller. And that's what this column is doing. So let me jump back into here. These expressions can be... You don't need gates to do it. As, I, as you could see here, I used these circuits, AND gates and uh, OR gates, basically. And the NOT gates, of course. I use them as gates just to make it easy for myself. 
because here I can just place a gate, 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 and everything is just fine. But we don't have to do that. We can combine them. We can have OR gates and AND gates on the same circuit. So that's why we are doing this part. So this is the A again. The A plus C plus BD plus B complement D complement. This is A and we OR it together with the B going up here and out. Next part is to take B and D and then we have this AND gate down here. So B is the magenta one, D is the white one. AND them together and the output is here. We OR it into the result. And then we had B, final one, B complement, D complement. And that can be, you can write it in a different way according to the, uh, the Morgan's theorem, I think. Anyway, B complement, D complement, or prim, perhaps you can say, shorter, is the same thing as B plus D inverse. So that's what I'm doing here. D and B inverse. And all these outputs are just combined. These four outputs are put, taken out here. So this expression is exactly what you're seeing here. So that's the A1, the, the A segment, the top one. So if we remove all these others, like this and this. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me connect it like this. There. Now it's only the top one. And if we have one, then it, it's uh, only th these two. And that means it will turn off if I put it on. So when doing, when building this, you just check it step by step that every segment is behaving as it should. And just move on to the next one. This is the second segment, the B segment. B inverse is this one. B inverse, or it together with the other ones. We have C complement, D complement. Same as the last time, it's just a C or D, C or D and inverse. And finally, C and D, normal AND gate. C and D, put them together. It's quite easy when doing, when just talking about it, but building it can take some time, especially if the expression is uh, annoying like the D expression, um, it's this one. It was quite hard to make a good expression in an, in an easy way. So I ended up with five. And that's why it looks, <laughs> that's why it looked like this. Um, it is hard to follow, uh, but you're not supposed to be able to follow it directly. You're just supposed to understand the, how to do it. And uh, so you can do it yourself Perhaps not for the display, because I can do like this, if you're interested. Let me remove the input and the output so we don't have any corner blueprint. And we'll just do an... All right, you have this, this link in the video description. And from there, you can just pick up the circuits and place it down. And then you'll have everything. So if you want to... You can play around um, and just demonstrate that it works exactly the same. Isn't this great? <laughs> there, back in full screen. So I think this is very interesting that you can take whatever you want to do and uh, just make a truth table, combine the gates, um, make expressions and then build your own custom made and 
what can you say? Gate networks and then combine them into something that actually works according to the theory. This is old theory. This is from the 50s or something. Um, at least the K-maps are from the 50s. So uh, this is old school electronics, and uh, but it still can actually be quite useful. <laughs> if you have any questions, drop them in the you know where, and uh, I hope I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.